money mindset. And now not only am I a business coach, but my main, like my kind of my expertise is helping people with their mindset around money, right? And I know you and I, Mary, talked a lot about money in our last time we spoke right? about money and managing money and things like that. But so that's what I do, like helping people with their mindset, the way they think, they feel, they act around money so they can build, you know, thriving businesses and, you know, be in alignment with what they want to do. That's so true. So that was perfect timing. So I just got us live up on Facebook. So that's, that. that's thrilling. Yay. All right. So thank you for that um, amazing recap. What, you know, now that is your, is your summit over with now? Yes. How did it go? It went amazing. People you know, loved it. Yeah. you did some, you did some unique things because you set up a Facebook group and I saw yeah. that you were, um, have, you were, you were asking people questions and what their takeaways were from each of the, um, interviews that you did. So congratulations, you know, uh, a summit is a lot of work. So I just think, I thank you so much for putting all that work together. And now you are on to your next big project, which from what I understand is this masterclass. So let's, let's talk about the masterclass. And also like what I want to know is what is your expertise? Like what is the, what is the takeaways and the things and the reasons of why you created this class? Yeah. So first, I'm sorry, that was like three questions in one. So start I was going to say, where do you want me to start? Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, now I know like why people ask me so many questions and I'm like, wait a minute, where do you want me to start? So let's start with talking about like, tell us about this new passion project of yours. Totally, totally. So again, what I realized, you know, from the work I've been doing these past four or five years is that sometimes like many entrepreneurs, like women entrepreneurs, their main issue is that they don't know where to start. Like... They want, they're passionate, they want to build something, they want to do something, and they want to be of service, and they're like spinning. I see them spinning in circles, right? And they're like, what do I do first? Like, what's the, what's one, two, three step? You know, what's my, what's my, what's the steps, right? And not only that, I see them very, like they don't believe in themselves. They don't really believe they could do it. They, they, they have a lot of doubt, self-confidence comes up. So the reason that what I'm doing, actually, I'm doing this free training, which is like a masterclass, 90 minute, really teaching you, right? three steps to grow your business. If you have a business or you're looking to start one, right? What to do and what to keep on focusing on so you always have like cash flow. Cause I know you and I spoke about this, right? The power of having cash flow and the power of making money too, because I see a lot of people like having really expensive hobbies. I had a business, I had a very expensive hobby as a fashion designer because I wasn't making money. You know what I mean? Like I, I thought I was an entrepreneur and I was like, yes, cause I'm dressing Miss Panama. But really I was like, it was like a very expensive hobby. It wasn't like a business business, you know what I mean? Like a system structure, you know? So that is what it's all about. You know, it's so, it's so interesting what you say, because a lot of people, and I, I've definitely see this in my entrepreneurial circles is people understanding the difference between being a part of a business and being an entrepreneur is yes. like the whole point is you want to be able to replace your, your, maybe your corporate income, or you want to be able to sustain yourself and provide for yourself. It's not, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs can just rack up a lot of debt because they're trying to maintain a certain lifestyle, but they're also trying to make money. And you have to have those correct systems and processes in place. One of the things that, um, you know, if you think of yourself as an entrepreneur, that you are the, you are the CEO, you are the CFO, and you are the COO. And all three of those positions are very important. But when you first start out, you as yourself are all three of those positions. So what do those positions look like? Well, as the chief executive officer, you're, you're, ed, you, you're responsible for all the administrative. You know, like what kind of licensing does your business need? You're responsible for the... Um, you're responsible for the mission of your company. You're responsible for understanding the um, the outcomes that you want your clients to to receive. You're responsible for uh, knowing the establishing like the the relationships that are going to support your business, you know, whether those relationships be with um, clients, whether those relationships be with connectors, like people who can connect you to potential clients, or whether those relationships are with collaborators or vendors, you know, all of those things. So as the CEO, you know, you're really managing a lot of things. But, you know, when you're an entrepreneur, you have all of those responsibilities and now you have the responsibilities of the CIO. Now, the, the CIO, 
much. Yeah. I know. It's like <laughs> this person is, they have a different mindset. So this is what I mean by you have to be like three people at once. So they have a different mindset and the CIO is going to have a mindset that's very focused on processes and procedures. You know, the, um, the, the like getting the, or excuse me, I'm saying CIO, COO, Chief yeah, Operations like, Operator. Sorry, I, I have had too much coffee this morning and it's affecting me. So the COO, <laughs> is, they're concerned about their mind works in processes and procedures. And so the reason I brought this up is because you said like, if you're going to have a business, you have to have processes and procedures. And I know that one of the biggest mistakes that I see entrepreneurs make is they sort of just do everything and they don't document anything. And so you really have to document yes. everything that you're doing or you're never, you're going to be stay stuck at a certain level. You know, one of the things that I used to always say is like, your company can grow to the level of your own management skills. And so like, if my company has five employees, it may be that I I have the management skills of only five employees. So being the CEO, COO of your own company means that you have to invest in the, in the skeleton, in the foundation of your business. And when I was 24 and I started my business, this was very important to me. That was 20 years ago, by the way, everyone. And what the, one of the first things I did was I documented every procedure I could think of. Like, even if it was just something as simple as opening the mail or locking the doors at night, I just, I just wrote every thing down and then I broke it to these like step-by-step -step processes and like today we might think of this as keystroke by keystroke even like getting ready for today's webinar my assistant typed me out the instructions they're they're right here so that I, I knew it. every step of the way what I needed to do so let's move on to the um the chief financial officer the CFO so, and here's what another thing that you're talking about is missing, right? So I think that as entrepreneurs, we can be good CEOs, but we have to also be the COO. And now the CFO, they are the ones focused on the bottom line. So they would be the people who are controlling that spending. Because a lot of times what entrepreneurs do is they spend, they spend, they spend on this very expensive hobby, as yes. you call it. So the CFO is the one who's always paying attention to the bottom line and the health of the company. And they're, you know, looking at budgets, they're looking at revenue, they're looking at expenses, they're looking at all of those things. So all of that is just to say, to give like an explanation as to why what Sharina is saying is so vitally important to the health and, and projected outcomes of your business. So, all right, Sharina, take it away from there. I love it. I love it. And I'm so glad you're bringing this up, Mary, because sometimes it's like, oh, like, people don't think about these things when they're building a business. And then suddenly they, what I notice, it's like, they become a very expensive waiter. You know, it's like the coaches, people who offer services, they just become like very expensive service providers that depend on them. There's no like system, no product. Like, you know, there's no like this thing, you know? So I think it's really important to think about these things. So yeah, like meditation today that we have for all of you guys watching, you know, listening, is to join us, you know, for this masterclass that I'm doing to learn these steps, you know, what to focus on to truly build a business. Not only that, in this in this training that we're doing, we're actually gonna be doing a process to help you like open your mind, like especially your money mindset, right? To like more abundance, more opportunities. At the end of the day, you mentioned something really important, Mary. You said, you know, our business grows to our management skills. And I agree. And I think it also grows into our energy skills, meaning how much can we deal with our leadership skills? Like if we get triggered by small little things, how are we going to grow? And you know what I mean? Like I used to get triggered by the small little things in my business. Now I've learned to like, just like, you know, that, that emotional intelligence kind of thing. Right. So mm -hmm. we're going to be doing some work on that too. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to join me. So when is your free webinar happening? Yes. It's happening this Monday, uh, Monday, the 18th of June at 2 PM central. All right. Well, listen, everybody, I have, it sounds like Sharina's got a fun webinar set up for you guys. And what I have done is I've put the link as the pinned comment. So if any of you are watching, then you can go ahead and check out that link and the comments and go ahead and sign up for that webinar if it's something that calls to you. And I think like from my own experience, I can tell you that 
anytime you get an opportunity to invest in yourself, you know, if you know my story at all, you know that I'm really big about investing in myself. And one of the ways that I do that um, on a weekly basis is taking free webinars. I mean, we're so fortunate yeah. because we live in a time where we have infinite information available to us at our fingertips. And we have all of these wonderful people in the world who are so willing to just like share their knowledge. So Sharina, I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with us today. And um, what do you think someone's going to get out? Like at the end of this 90 minutes, what are they going to walk away knowing or feeling that they didn't know before? Awesome. So one, first and foremost, they're going to end differently because it's not, it's not the normal webinar like where we only are going to give information. Rather, we're actually going to take people through a process, like an energy kind of process too. So like they're just going to be a different frequency. Let's just say it in that way. Not only that, but they're going to get, 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 know clearly what to do specifically, like what's the three steps to do in order to get clients, right? Because at the end of the day, there's no clients, there's no money, right? Like, and, and the other two they're going to get is what's the key to make consistent income, right? Like how to really build cash flow in your business so you're not in your business you're like, oh my God, how do I make my system or my team, you know, which is like an issue of entrepreneurs nowadays. It's like I spent all my money and it's like, wait, what happened there, you know? So that's the specific things they're going to get out of this. Well, okay. That is very exciting. So, all right. I'm going to let uh, Sharina get back to her day and um, I'm going to go back to what I was doing this morning. Thank you so much, Sharina, for, you for having me. me and this, well, you kept this quick and simple and I really appreciate it. Have awesome. a great, great afternoon. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.